Hello and welcome back to Oxventure, where we are finding out what it would be like if you played D&D, but all of the characters had amnesia. This is part two, where we have just found out that our amnesia struck players, who have named themselves... Uh, Tiddles. Tiddles. Red. Red. And Man Bird, and I've just given him the surname of Birdman. So Man Bird, Man Bird, Birdman. Man, Man, Man Bird, 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 Man. Man. <laughs> Man. <laughs> cool. Uh, okay. Where we left off last time, uh, you had just discovered a letter from a ship that it seems you were on that was written by the captain, and it seemed to imply that it was some kind of prisoner mm. ship. We appear to be criminals. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Mm. Okay. Well. But I don't feel like a criminal. Do any criminals? Hmm. Well, we're all a construct of our memories, aren't we, really? That's our personality, Whoa. so... Whoa. Whoa. Make, me a, make me a wisdom insight. I've got loads of that, probably. It's a critical one. <laughs> Are we a construct of our memories and experiences? Yep. <laughs> um, what you're saying is true and is strikingly poetic to your mm. compatriots. The problem is that you get a bit carried away sort of talking in this poetic style and go to stand up onto a small rock uh, <laughs> and your leg splint is going to break. Oh, oh no! Uh, you, Do I lose hit points? I'm only on six. You don't lose hit points, but you are back to being unable to walk unaided. Yeah, and you're a crunched up bone heap. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, right. If you missed part one, <laughs> go back and find out how I became a crunched up bone <laughs> Okay. What do you, gang? Uh, well... Mexican standoff. What does this <laughs> blue tier criminal thing mean? Uh, and why well, are you wearing uh, the blue? I am. Have you even lost your memories? No, I have. I have. Promise. You, did you just say that and went along with what we said? No, no. Den genuinely, I can't remember a damn thing. All uh, right. Tiddles make me a uh, charisma, charisma persuasion. persuasion check. But I'm amazing at persuasion. Why would you? Why would you even try me? That's a twelve plus eight is a dirty twenty. It's yeah. It's persuasive. <laughs> <laughs> Whether or not it's true or not. All right. <laughs> um, why? Yeah, why would I have? Why would I have checked to see if a crab was honest? If I if I had command of my senses, uh, is the question I would ask. According to this letter, yes, from the captain of the prisoner transport ship, he and he or she and the officers have been taken to Reefstrop, which is where we are. Yes. And they have the Nimesign. Yeah. Whatever that is, but it appears to contain... Our memories. Our missing memories. Yeah. So we find the officers, find the captain, mm -hmm. find the, the box of memories, or yeah. whatever it is, and then we'll know who we really are. Um, are they... Are they uh, the officers must be camping somewhere, or unless they're at the, at the settlement already. Um, but maybe, you know, as, as dusk begins to fall, you'd have thought they'd light a fire for warmth. Maybe if we could get somewhere high up, we could mm. look out and see if we can see it, that telltale orange glow. What? Could just be what, a bunch of I, fish people again there. Should I do some flying? Perhaps, yeah. Yes, please. Up you go. Uh, yeah, make me a... I suppose this has to be a... Perception check, doesn't it? Really, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. fantastic. So uh, there's a plus five to that, and it's a ten plus five, fifteen. Yeah. Um, okay. It's getting very dark. It's still raining. Uh, it's a bit dangerous to be flying around up here because I'm sure I said there was like thunder and lightning earlier. Um, we'll resolve that in a moment. <laughs> you through the through the lashing rain, uh, driven by the wind from up here. You you can see sort of silhouetted by lightning flashes. The, Sort of stretching away the, the taller part of the island where it gets very rocky and cliff-like. Um, and it's very, very dark, but there is, distant, right at the end, uh, a faint orange glow. You can't perceive like where it's coming from exactly, but it's, it flickers with a, a, a fire-like quality. And yes, it's not, but well, it's not natural. Mm. I, when I say it's not natural, I mean it's not like some plant that Flickers. It's, you know, <laughs> okay. it's a fire. <laughs> I can see a fire. I can see a fire. We should, we should go that way. 
Now make me a... How do you avoid lightning? I think that would be... It feels like a deck saving throw of some sort. Well, to dex to lightning. dex out of the way of lightning? I feel like it's more sort of... Con luck. <laughs> yeah. Luck. <laughs> I suppose the whole system is luck, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> Athletics? Hmm. Maybe. What kind of... Constitution. <laughs> Constitute. I like constitution. Constitution saving. Means you throw. can be hit by the. You can be hit by the lightning. It's how you. How much you <laughs> shrug it off. Yeah. How much oh. you walk it off. That's plus three. So that's that's Nineteen plus three. Brilliant. Uh, you are struck by lightning, but uh, as as it hits you, um, you feel a warm, peaceful glow come over you, and like brilliant golden light sort of imperceptibly quickly goes like that across you and the bolt is deflected guys did you see that mm -hmm. it was so yeah. cool something did... up there likes you let's Thanks. say it makes you remember something oh um the following memory swims into focus a well-lit stone room an aracocra elder touches you on the shoulder with a ceremonial sword Welcome to our divine order and our soldierly ranks of strength and honesty, they say. And on a personal note, what a pleasure to see you on a different path to that of your brothers. <laughs> Thinking I'm a, like a paladin? Oh. Something, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Neat. Well, yeah, I'm a stealthy judge, so. <laughs> uh, what are you? What do we think you are? So, I like a monk or a fighter. I've right. got, I've got uh, key points. That does sound monk. Which monk I think is monkey. -ish. I yeah. was going to say monkey. Monkey. Mm. Sounds... <laughs> monk -esque. Monk, monk, yeah. monk -esque, yes. Let's go for monk, monk -esque. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, should we? I mean, I, I'm say, about to say, should we head out towards the, the the fire? But I'm not going anywhere because my legs snapped again. No, you can't mm. shot bone yeah. heat. Well, we've still got the horse. Yeah. yeah. Still got pony. We kind of. Pour you onto the back of the horse. <laughs> yeah. Tip me over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, man, bird, birdman, you go to like whistle for the horse, but mm -hmm. having anticipated your needs, it's already right beside you. Mm. And it gestures to it. intelligent. <laughs> it gestures to its rump as if to say, "Get him up there." <laughs> <laughs> I love this horse. Aww. This pony's so great. Save us, pony. <laughs> <laughs> Tiddles is on the back of the horse. How's everyone else traveling? Yeah, I'm, I'm on the horse. On the back of the pony again, yeah. with I mean, its permission. I suppose I maybe fit, then, yeah. Yeah. Man Bird could be up in the air making sure that we aren't slowly working our way off course. Yeah. Although I don't want you to get struck by lightning again. Although you seemed fine with it before. So. <laughs> it's true. You seemed fine with it once before. Perhaps best not to test the gods' favor. <laughs> mm. Yes, yes. I think I'll also get on the horse if there's space. Okay. Yeah, sure, there's space. The horse um, spectrally stretches slightly. <laughs> in the it's like one of those double bicycles. Yeah, and yeah. two and more you. legs come down in the middle part. <laughs> <laughs> so the horse now has six legs. Uh, okay, yeah, so you, you pr you're proceeding the fire. onward, upwards, mm -hmm. in the direction of the fire. Mm. Okay, it's not long before the forest starts to thin out. At this point, um, Night is nearing its end. Uh, you've been kind of, it's slow going through this like foresty undergrowth and the, the sky is just starting to lighten and the rain is dying away. It's like, it's still raining, but it's lighter, lighter mm -hmm. rain. Mm -hmm. um, and suddenly the forest breaks and ahead of you, things are very different. Now you've got a clear view out to your sides your elevation has changed quite a lot. As you look left and right, you can see the sea stretching away to the horizon on all sides, but now quite far below you. You're quite far up. And you're on um, a like long, rocky outcropping that leads up and just becomes more sort of rocky and complicated uh, as, as, it, as it stretches away. Um, straight in front of you, though, is an immediate problem in that ahead, in front of you, there is a, a large crevice and next to it are two wooden stumps that you're pretty sure used to have a bridge on them. Hmm. How far can this horse extend? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the horse gives you a look. Um, <laughs> man bird as if to say, I'll try anything once. <laughs> 
Well, please, <laughs> please do. <laughs> I'd love to give it a see it, see it, <laughs> see what this looks like. Sure. <laughs> I'm going to roll this in good faith <laughs> for this horse. Three. Ah. 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 The horse uh, extends over the gap, uh, like doo -doo -doo -doo, like kind of stretches out, yeah, uh, like that. It continues to stretch, continues to stretch, and he's like, ah. Oh. The horse shoots you a look as if to say, like, I'm gonna give this a try. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and just sort of Whoa, with one Come desperate on, lunge, pony. Uh, and unfortunately, overextends no. and just vroom, leans forward Tumbles. and just like a log. <laughs> Just tumbled. No. No. no! no! Below you see it, it doesn't like smash or it just sort of dematerializes. Oh, oh. Okay. It's okay. Okay. I love mm -hmm. that horse. Mm -hmm. love well, that you horse. Can, you've got one more go at the spell, haven't you? So we could summon it back later. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, but I've got all these mystery spells. Yeah, all right so. now. <laughs> um, oh yeah, we haven't scratched anything yet, by the way. If you didn't watch the first one, what are you doing here? Mm. But also, we've got these rad scratch card character sheets. Yeah, you've mm. got with mystery. Thanks to Luke. You've all got many abilities left to uncover. Yeah, and we can use each ability once to uncover them and then once again. Yeah. I just want to find something out uh, about myself, so I'd like to intimidate the crevasse, please. Go on then. Oh, because you want to know what your intimidation yeah. stat is. Plus two. Intimidating the crevasse. Yeah. That's six plus two is eight. Oh. Is the crevasse intimidated? It's impossible to know. Mm. Is it because you, you can't secrets. intimidate a crevasse? <laughs> <laughs> is it because you didn't intimidate well? We'll never know. We'll never know. It could be quaking in its boots for all we know. Yeah. I don't know much Earth about my potential class, but maybe I've got a great, a, a great leap ability or something, it's an, an enormous jump, so I'm going to... Um... <laughs> Whatever it is, the spell's coming out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I dig deep inside my, inside my um, amnesiac soul and bring out the Fist of Unbroken Air, which doesn't sound like a big jump. But it does say, as an action, you, you can could spend... You could punch the ground and maybe launch yourself up. Spend two key points and a chosen creature within 30 feet make a strength saving throw on failure it takes 3d10 bludgeoning damage that's not i mean mm. there's nothing i want to punch around here okay you could punch us across what's it called again fist of unbroken air it's a big punch big punch it's a big punch now that to me does have sort of fuss road oh yeah you can you can push what? A creature up to 20 feet away from Whoa. you. Whoa! Oh, I should have kept scratching. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't finished scratching. Okay. Well, how, the how far cherries. is this crevasse? Is it 20 feet or is it more? Ah. Uh, well, who wants to try and estimate that? I mean, I'm good at perception. Well, actually, let me percept it. The thing is, this is going to happen. You have to do it. Oh, right. Oh, oh yeah, that's yes. true. I don't get to scratch it and then choose whether mm -hmm. I do I got it. A, I got a 21 of perception. So I'll say this happens like this. Um, okay. Red sort of steps up to the edge of the crevasse, um, sort of flexes, and winds back a punch. Yeah. Don't and there's about five seconds where you can feel the air around you sort of thrumming, mm -hmm. like that, so building up to something powerful. That's the window in which you have to act, if act you wish to. Okay. I, I think I might punch you to death. Yeah, I think yeah, I, I, so I, I might punch all to, my six yeah. hit points to man might explode. bird. Okay. Yeah. And like, with with your consent, I would like to try I mean, you punching you. You can fly over the crevasse. So. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> It's too late. I'm already punching. It's too when late. We realize it's, that sorry, Lambert you remember too late. It's happening. <laughs> yeah, just as just as you've got to I'm like, wait, wait a second. No. <laughs> the wind. I think, wow, the wind is going to catch these wings real nice. Right, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Especially how well, about your character, not some of his characters. I'm very confused generally. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. a side effect. Okay. And, um, Remind me how Fist of Unbroken Air works. Okay, what exactly so, are we doing uh, to poor Manbird? The, the subject must make a strength saving throw. All if right. it fails, Let's it takes it. 3d10 bludgeoning damage, plus an extra 1d10 damage for each additional key point you spend. Let's say I'm spending all the key points. <laughs> yep. And you can push the creature away up to 20 feet away from you and knock it prone. Okay. Cool. So let's say I spend enough key points to try that, which is going to mean, I believe, 4d10 bludgeoning damage. Oh, fantastic. That's unless a lot of bludgeoning unless you, damage. Unless you pass the strength save, right? Oh, that's yeah. true. Yeah, that's so strength it, safe. And it's a saving throw, isn't it? Yeah. So that's plus four. Plus nice. four okay. to strength. 
Hey, so, you'll be I've got a great thing about this plan. Yeah. And it's a 19 plus four. Okay. That's gonna do it. <sighs> yes. Yeah. Okay. This is this isn't gonna hurt you. Mm. You're you're so attuned to the air and air currents and, and moving in flight that you don't need this at all. But it certainly <laughs> isn't gonna hurt. You feel this like enormous rush of air, and you are shot like an aerodynamic javelin uh, across the crevasse uh, and come skidding awesomely through the scree, talons first on the other side. Probably tied a rope to them, shouldn't we, or something? Like that. <laughs> We've got 50 foot. Wait, no, we don't have 50. We don't have our adventurous We packs. don't have anything. Dang. We don't have anything. Could have put a vine on him or something. Do you have like a conjure rope ability? <laughs> I don't know, let's find out. I'm going to scratch something off as well. <laughs> yep. um, There's got to be something here for this. Conjure rope. There must be something here in this thing for that thing. <laughs> Is this going to be like when Rizzo ooh, in, ooh, in the Christmas ooh, Carol goes and, gets the, <laughs> goes and gets the jelly beans under yeah. the, the gate? <laughs> okay, look, I've got feline agility. <gasps> oh, oh, of course you do. Yeah, uh, no allows way. me to move with a... Uh, with a... With a burst of speed when you move on your turn in com iron combat, though. Well, I can be loosey-goosey on that, yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you, you get, can double though? your speed until the end of the turn. Speed. Mm, speed. Not so much jump. It is speed though, you build a ramp. Yeah, speed will be helpful. <laughs> yeah, just accelerate up the ramp and hope that I'm carried mm -hmm. that distance. Uh, yeah, okay, well, fine. Um, maybe like if there's, uh, I don't, I mean, the forest has thinned out a bit, hasn't it? I was wondering if there was like a vine or something that I could use as a sort of, as a way to swing across, maybe using my feline agility. I mean, it's happening either way, isn't it, really? <laughs> Yeah, that's true. You are putting on a burst of speed. Yeah. But, oh, um, yeah. but it's up to you yeah. where it's directed and where you go. You've got the zoomies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You've got the zoomies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's been out the cat Before we can them. compose a sensible plan where man bird comes back and ferries us over, <laughs> yeah. you've already got zoomies. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, I, I'm going to, you know, the nearest sort of, I don't know, overhanging tree near the crevasse or something, I'm going to try and get a, a vine and do a big swing. Okay. Using my burst of speed to give me the extra distance. I love it. Distance. Let's call this an acrobatics check at yes. advantage. Ooh, I like it uh, at advantage. Okay, acrobatics, let's find out. Mm, plus two. Mm. Not, not as good bad. as my perception, but uh, let's switch. Which D20 is going to favor me the best? Because this could go badly wrong. It's all good. 17 plus two is 19. Cool. You can roll it again if you, oh, if yeah, you, if if you think you might. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, uh, you. The, there's a, a sort of stumpy bit of twisted old tree hanging gnarled. out. Gnarled, gnarled, very, very gnarled. It doesn't poke very far out, but it does have sort of a lot of vines growing from it. You zoom, zoomly, um, over to it, and kind of does this negate your sort of broken leg? I'm going to say no. This is so painful. Um, <laughs> you 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 run on this broken leg. You do it on one foot. You hop right. like <laughs> like that down. Grab hold of a vine uh, and swing at great speed mm. over to the other side of this crevasse and just get some claws in yeah. right over the lip of it. And okay. you, can, yeah, you can climb up onto the other side, leaving red. I'm still over here. Mm -hmm. oh, red. What do we do? <sighs> Everybody okay. make me Ooh. yeah. a wisdom saving throw. Oh, uh -oh. dear. Uh, oh, I oh, need to yeah. check my saving yeah. throw. Yeah. Plus Our seven. first wisdom so saving throw. Seven nice. plus seven is 40. Scratchy, scratchy. Mine's plus two, oh, so that's only a nine. Okay. I'm just not a very wise, possibly <laughs> monk. <Yeah. laughs> Who can say? Uh, 15, though. That's pretty good. Okay. Wiser than me. Red and Manbird. Your ears are assaulted by a horrible screeching sound. It's a kind of sort of. Is it just me on my leg? It could, yeah, it's, it's your joints. <laughs> I just landed. <laughs> it's it's, it's bone on bone. <laughs> um, yeah, this, this most awful, unpleasant screeching sound coming from deep in the crevasse. Um, Tiddles, yes. separately. What is that beautiful music? Oh! Where's it coming from? Why? It seems to be coming down in the crevasse. You peek your head over. No. Uh, and down there, deep in the crevasse, you see crawling out of a cave halfway down, 
three harpies. Um, the are uh, they are winged humanoids. The body, legs, and wings of a vulture with the torso, arms, and head of a human. Uh, and this one looks up at you and goes. But to you, it's like, sounds beautiful. Oh, tiddles, <laughs> join me down here. Oh. Let's roll initiative. Okay. The dirty twenty. It's a six. Uh, Sixteen. Ooh. Well, if you could kill those harpies before it's my turn, and I throw myself Pitch down, yourself into the crevasse. Yeah. <laughs> Giant hole. Bit tense. Bit tense. <laughs> we got six hit points. Yep, bit tense, bit tense. Okay, what did everyone get? Uh, red, what was yours? Uh, 20. 20, love it. Manbird. Uh, 16 for me. 16. Meaty. Tiddles. A mere six. Okay. That's good though. Mm. That really? is good. You well, want the your turn I don't to want to hold turn. you back. Yeah. Um, red, you get a clear view of this because you are still on the original side of the crevasse and the the hole from which these three harpies are unpleasantly un, mm. un, unfurling themselves mm. is on the opposite side of the chasm a fair way down this sort of enormous drop you can see the you can see water sort of foaming white water at, at the bottom far down uh yeah okay one of them is singing mm. and you can see tiddles is no. entranced oh no okay um, I would like to gather my all my spiritual key that I'm starting to remember mm -hmm. and cast Burning Hands. Cool. A 15 foot cone of flame. 15 foot. Well, it's a 15 foot co cone. That you know about cones of flame. Mm. The 15 foot is the range, right? Yeah, not the diameter is. of the cone. No, so, no, no, no. oh wait, 15 feet. That's not going to be. That's not. That's not far enough. Mm -mm. All right. What else have you got? Belay that remark. Um, 30, is 30 feet going to do it? 30 I mean, feet would do I, it. Okay. When you said 15, I was, yeah. I, in my mind I was trying to measure that and I was thinking, oh, it's kind of like twice that. Okay, well, in that case, I, um, I would like to use Fist of Unbroken Air again, as it was traditionally intended. <laughs> sure. Which is <laughs> to, to punch, punch something real good in the punch face. Punch the air, yeah. I think it's, it's like a, a sort of buffeting of air that transmits to my, to my um, enemy. Brilliant. So I'd like to f Fist of Unbroken Air, the singing harpy. Great. OK, please. so they've got to make a, a save, Strength right? Strength saving throw. Strength saving throw. Yes, please. <laughs> Is that what a harpy sounds like? <laughs> it is if you pump this much wind into it. OK. Is it fair to assume you're going for the harpy that is singing? The singing, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've got cool. to quiet, quiet that one up. All right, yeah, roll, roll me. Roll me damage yeah. on that. All right, so we'll that's that. we'll three plus four is seven, plus three is ten, plus three is thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen, and uh, they get um, knocked twenty feet back. Brilliant. And okay. Prone. Okay. The song ends if the harpy is incapacitated. Nice. Pro is, is prone incapacitated? Uh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. If you punch this thing 20 feet down into a chasm, yeah. that would stop me seeing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, how does this I, look? I do a cool downward punch, like Brilliant. in a sort of action crouch. I go to the edge of the crevasse and sort of drop into an action crouch while punching down, and a huge fist of sort of air blasts down the crevasse and, and smashes the harpy um, 20 foot further down into the, into the valley. Amazing. Instinctively, as you finish this, you uh, sort of come up to a firm, upright, standing sort of finish of movement pose, and a memory stirs. Ooh. My memory. Your memory. The last time I wind punched a harpy. <laughs> <laughs> this takes me back. It's the last time you were stood this upright, standing in front of your teacher. Your heart beats faster as you are told that, top of your class, you have been chosen to join the Duke's personal security detail. And the memory swims away. Ooh. Okay. Um, Brilliant, well done. Next, it is Manbird's turn. I think I'm gonna try one of these mystery spells. Yeah. 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 Spell. Let's give it a go. I think actually maybe I'm a cleric or something. I've definitely joined some kind of religious order of some kind, um, which is always fun. What's this? Paladin or cleric, everyone. Yes. Place your bets now. <laughs> oh, well, this would have been more useful earlier, uh -oh. but I, I can use it anyway. Um, 
Um, it's cure wounds. <laughs> uh, it's useful for you though, so that is mm. good that I've discovered that. A creature, you, so, uh, I will use it on you, a creature oh, you thanks. touch, and thankfully on your, my side of the... On, I've got my little, yeah, my little paws are hanging off the edge of the thing, I think, currently. <laughs> uh, I, uh, you regain uh, a number of hit points equal to 1d8 uh, plus my uh, spell casting ability modifier. There's no effect on it. Uh, a higher level. We'll have to add that on you, Luke. Your spell yep. casting ability. Yes. Um, uh, at higher levels, when you cast this spell, which we are higher than third level, yeah, third they're level. all coming out at third level. Um, mm -hmm. uh, when you cast a spell using a spell slot of second or higher, the, the healing increases by one d8 for each spell slot above the first. So three so. d8 plus spell casting modifier. Fantastic. That's great. Oh, I'm going to be so Brilliant. healthy. I can't wait. Here we go. Seven. Good stuff. Great. Uh, plus eight. Oh, Amazing. even better. Uh, plus one. Uh, 16 plus whatever the spell Mystery modifier. Mystery modifier. Plus. I mean, you'll be able to figure it out by the number I'm about to tell you. Impossible. Uh, yeah, no. so what was the total? Uh, 16. 16, 18. 18 are, health points. You feel better by. Oh, I certainly oh. do. Yeah. I'm up to 24 now. Hey, look at that. 24. In rude health. Um, this looks like a golden light. This, th It's the feeling of the sun on your back. Tiddles. Mm. It's mm. such a reassuring. I like to be warm. Yeah, it feels like the promise of. If it was a recently driven car, I would be lying on the bonnet. Right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that does not exist in this fantasy world of imagination. It does not, no. Um, okay, yeah, brilliant. Good healing. Next up is a harpy. Now, what's this harpy going to do? Almost certainly sing at you. That's their shtick, isn't it? Uh, okay, this harpy is going to sing at uh, red. You've established yourself as the biggest threat. Um, okay, make a wisdom saving throw again, please. Okay. That is a six and nothing, so six. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What is that beautiful oh. <laughs> music? Red. Um, you come under the, another one of the other harpies, just starts. Hey there, you. Have you ever thought about being in a cravat? <laughs> that is good beautiful. Point. You can make point. sweet music in the cravat. Sounds good to me somehow. Smash your body on the bones. <laughs> I will pick out the bones. Makes a good point. Makes a very compelling point. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the two of you, neither of you is charmed. It's just more sort of like... Mm. It kind of starts up and you see, uh, you see Red sort of kind of sway as if... As if enraptured. Uh, okay, now it is the harpy who was struck. It's their turn. They're going to use their turn just to basically move up, climb back up, back up to where they were. Okay. Uh, Tiddles, you're up. Uh, I feel like I've got to dish out a spell, haven't I, really? So I'm going to go for. Do it. Here we go. Good one. I'm, I'm hoping Some for one. Some spicy. Scratch, scratch, scratch. What's it called? It's scratch, called scratch, scratch. insightful fighting. Okay. Well, it's fighting, which is a good start. As a bonus action, you can make an insight check against a creature you can see that isn't incapacitated, contested by the target's deception check. If you succeed, you can use your sneak attack. Huh. I have a sneak attack against that target, even if you don't have advantage on the attack roll. But not if you have disadvantage on it. <laughs> Jeez, this is an essay. <laughs> Copy paste it from D&D &D Beyond. I think the pertinent info there is... You can make an insight check yeah. as a bonus action. Yeah. And I can use my bonus action at the start of a turn, can't I? Mm, yeah. So, all right. Um, With a cool analytical mind, you can evaluate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. in fact, you do, because this is going to happen. So. It is going to happen, yeah. So I will use it on one of the yeah. one of the harpies. What was it contested? How was it contested? Uh, it was a... Deception check. Okay. So, yeah, charisma deception. Okay, what'd you get? Uh, it's a contested roll, isn't it? Yep. So I need to check out what my deception is. Not yes. Good. That wasn't a good roll. Ooh, but I have eight deception. Hey. So that's actually worked out at 13. Okay, beats 10, which is what the harpy yes. uh, got. Um, yeah, brilliant. You scry the, the harpy with an mm. analytical eye, bringing your... Um, that little monocle, I right? Yeah, yeah. In fact, you, you don't have well, a monocle. Little, like, you you don't have anything, but like habitually your hand goes up to where a monocle would be. And I just make a little circle with my eye. Yeah. A little circle, yeah. Um, yes, these harpies appear to have uh, several several weak spots. Yes, and They're, I can use a sneak attack. Yeah, and you can use a, you can use a sneak attack. Um, it'll have to be ranged, probably, unless you want to try and like shimmy down the chasm. Well, I don't have any. I don't have any thing I could use as a ranged weapon. I think that seems 
Like you've limited yourself there. Yeah, well, I could maybe... Nothing you could use as a ranged weapon? you got things you could use as a ranged weapon right now. <laughs> a pen. <laughs> um, I, I mean, is there anything around me on the on the cliff? Are there any like sharp sort of, you know, broken bits of, you know, wood or just a nice rock, maybe? Nice big rock. Nice big rock. Mm -hmm. There's, I mean, there's definitely a nice big rock. I said scree earlier, so yeah, yeah. Scree is rock. Yeah. Yeah, like a fist size. I'm looking for something I can hurl effectively yep. that would still seriously hurt if you. Were. A fist size rock is an entirely reasonable thing to yep. find very close All to. Right. You. Yeah. And I'm going to aim for one of these harpies' weak spots. Yeah, brilliant. Maybe okay. bridge of the nose, base of the skull. Um, I don't know what a harpies' weak spot is. The weak spots are, as a, oh, having Spars. said that, I now need to tell you what they are, don't I? Um, the harpies' weak spots are the wings are very fine, kind of membranous, mm. uh, almost. So, like, very, uh, and you can see that when they climb up the cliff, they're sort of they're having to use the wings to sort of push them. Mm. So, like, they might not be able to make it up without. Yeah, you know, without their wings, uh, and also when they, when you, the ones that you've seen singing, um, their throat sort of vibrates like this, and there's a little sort of like magical heat haze coming off it. Oh, right. So if you were to just like punch a hole in that, dome them in the throat, <laughs> uh, right. they wouldn't be able to sing anymore. Well, with your seems... keen analytical mind, you devise this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, there's one that started singing at red, hasn't there? So yes. I feel like to sort of return the favour, I should aim for that one. I'm yes. Aim for the throat. To try and. Uh, get it to put, put a sock in it or put a rock in it, in this case. Oh. Um, no. And so, yeah, I'm going oh, to oh, do that. Oh. Let's do it. Yeah, all right. And it's going to be a sneak attack. Yeah. Um, but let me figure out exactly what you're adding for this. Okay. 4d6. Yeah. 4d6 damage. Add 4d6 uh, to... But I have yeah, to roll for the attack. To the attack, first. yeah. I'll call the, the rock... Yeah, you have to roll the attack. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Roll this with advantage, though, please. All right. Okay. Well, that's good because I got, just got a, a five plus two is seven. Do it again. Four. Oh. <laughs> six. Uh, okay. I just uh, seven. So. Oh. Sorry. Oh man. You know what? It's fine. The magic of D and D. Yeah. You you hurl this rock um, down at, at a harpy. You, you you really put some sauce on this thing, and mm. it sort of curves down like beautiful curveball. Like it's kind of stone. spinning. Anything that it hits would be smashed to pieces. Uh, but what is smashed to pieces is a small part of the crevasse because it sort of it bounces off a wall. And I'm sorry, I'm very old. Splashes <laughs> inoffensively into the sea where it absolutely destroys an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> Just goes clean through. Now I've got that it. on my conscience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry. That's all right. Uh, all right, it's another harpy's turn. Mm. Oh, it's me. Yep, you're going to be attemptedly charmed. So that is a saving throw, please. Oh. Mm. Yep, well, yeah, try and... It's wisdom, right? Yeah, it's wisdom, yeah. So I rolled 14 plus 7. Brilliant. Yep, well resisted. Cool. Uh, the harpy is only going to... Not going to do anything else on its turn except crawl around a bit. Red! Yes. Charmed. I'm charmed. You are still charmed, I'm aren't still you? charmed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, here's the deal. You die. <laughs> yeah. Here's what happens. Your body is smashed on the rocks for <laughs> The death of you by harpies. Because you are more than five feet away, yes. you must use your turn close the distance. to do everything you can to close the distance to within... Um, At least five feet. Five feet, yeah. Okay. okay. You can repeat your saving throw if now because you're, because you're about to head into a pit. Oh, mm -hmm. oh before. Okay. Yep, that's what it says. Oh, so I tried to resist throwing mercy. myself before into this Before moving into pit. damaging terrain such as lava or a pit. Yeah. You can repeat the saving throw. All right. Oh, great, good. So part good. of my what are you doing to me, D and D writers? Brain. Trying to trying to make an encounter here. <laughs> suddenly they're all pit proof. Okay, so this one's important. Yeah. yeah, so part of my brain knows that it shouldn't throw itself. Yeah, uh, you remember that much. Over the Try edge and make that part crevasse. of your brain very loud. Come on, brain. Okay, that's a uh, seventeen plus zero. So Brilliant. seventeen. Yeah, uh, you, you, yeah, you, you shake it off. Okay. I don't, I don't think that's your action either. Um, That's not even my action. Well, it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't specify, cool. but it doesn't feel. It doesn't like feel it. like it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You shake All it right, off. So I shake it off. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still right on the edge of the, the crevasse. Mm -hmm. And, um, well, I've used Fist of Unbroken Air twice, so that's off. That's dead. Um, I. A stunning strike is a melee attack, which I'm not going to be doing from up here. So I'm going to scratch off. Scratch, scratch, scratch. An exciting new ability and mm -hmm. see if that does me any good. <laughs> I'm hoping for something with some range on it. This is 
fangs of the fire snake. That Ooh, sounds amazing. Sounds good. That sounds really good. Okay, when you use the attack action on your turn, which I will, you can spend one key point to increase your reach, yes, 10 feet, with your unarmed strikes for the rest of the turn. Uh, 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 uh. A hit with this attack deals fire damage instead of bludgeoning damage, etc., etc., etc. If you spend one key point when the attack hits, it also deals an extra 1d10 fire damage. So it's a fiery punch. Brilliant. Um, it's a fiery is, punch. This is so serendipitous yeah. that I'm going to slightly fudge the range on this because what it was like 10, ten feet, feet yeah. it's 10, ten feet, feet in addition to your unarmed strike but i mean how unarmed, what's yeah. the range on an unarmed strike it's <laughs> the About length of my feet. arm yeah. is it? let's what? say let's add your movement speed to that range because why not mm. uh yeah okay so yeah you can you could what does this look like do you think well i mean it? if it's an unarmed strike maybe i do need to launch myself but intentionally sure. into the crevasse Love but it. add a sort of I, uh, they're, they're probably standing on a ledge or in the mouth of a cave or yeah, they are. The an outcropping of, yeah, of some yeah. sort they're so emerging I, from a sort of dingy hole yeah i leap uh monk like <sighs> with martial fist prowess yeah. um fist aloft and strike the um none of the harpies have got anyone enraptured right now so i'm going to go nope. for the, the same harpy i attacked the first time mm -hmm. the lead harpy yep and a, and try to hit her. So roll okay. me the attack. Yeah. Roll me to hit, even. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that is uh, 13. Yeah, yep, that beats it. 13. Mm -hmm. Harpy's and, not very armor classy. Um, mm -mm -mm. A hit with his attack deals fire damage instead of bludgeoning, so it's oh, fire great. damage, uh, plus an extra 1d10 fire damage. Because Brilliant. of all the key I expended. Yeah, roll me the damage then. Okay. Um, What's the damage on an unarmed strike? Um, let's say your unarmed strike would be... I'm very I'm muscular. Yeah, remember. your unarmed strike would be uh, 4d8. Oh, 4d8? Wow. Oh, yeah. oh, fantastic. All right. Well, that's oh, that's a gun show. <laughs> Not to 8d4, but 4d8. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could we be here all day? Okay, seven plus one is eight. Plus eight is 16. Plus two is 18. And then I did say an extra 1d10 fire damage. Yep. And then mm, 16 plus 9. 16 25. plus 9. Cool. Uh, I suppose I should offer you the option. Do you want to kill it or knock it out? A harpy is like conversational. I, I, I mean, my, depends on the harpy. I search my memory, the memory that's not been like you know blotted yeah. out by amnesia, and Make I'm like, do I know anything about? Harpies? Make me a history. Oh, oh, history okay. Check. Let's find out. Do I know anything about history? Yeah, while you do that, I'll figure out what harpies are like. I know one about history. <laughs> um, Long ago, an elf wandering a forest heard birds. I don't have time for this. <laughs> <laughs> Stop giving me colour commentary. I want the facts want about stats, harpies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> are they like monstrosities? Are they? Well, oh. maybe your. History oh, roll. Okay, history roll. So 16. 16. Uh, yeah, they are medium monstrosities. Okay. Chaotic evil is their okay. alignment. Uh, yeah, they're pretty. They speak common. They can be okay. spoken to. Okay. Harpies are generally not able to be reasoned with. I think uh, that would be fair to say. Uh, they like to kill and eat and take little shiny bits of bone as trophies. Um, that sort of thing. I mean, by all means, give it a try. They are not, you know, they are not totally not They are not totally monstrous. I don't right. think Red's here to chat. I think Red's here to decide whether it would be yeah. a horrible thing to do. To, to kill, murder. right, mm. yeah, yeah. Well, it doesn't sound like they're amenable to I think to in, in what this history check reveals to you yes. is that it would be very unlikely that you would speak to anyone in this world you inhabit, tell them that you killed a harpy, and they would blame you for it. All right, well then let's set it on fire. Cool. Yeah. One of those lethal, not the, not the non-lethal fire, but the lethal fires. Brilliant. <laughs> Are you leaping all the way down to their little cave? I think I have to. Mm. Yeah. You yeah. leap all the way down to their little cave yeah. and just doof, punch yeah. one clean With off the wall. The fangs of the fire snake. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's on fire and it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Its wings are just ablaze. Yeah. Pff, ablaze and it sort of spins like is it that. Is it, is it going dead. over the edge? It's dead. Yeah, it's oh, going yeah. down, oh, down cool. further in, into, the, into the sea. Okay. Dead before it gets there. I wonder if the other harpies can be freaked out. One of the harpies is freaked out. 
Okay. Uh, <laughs> one of them's gonna just start yeah. basically like take wing and sort of fly okay. away. Okay. The other one's like, can... I didn't, I didn't like her anyway. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but one of them is not. Well, at least you know like. that one that's flown away can talk, so it'll yeah. send a message to the others. If they can sing, <laughs> if they can sing, it makes sense. They can talk. They can yeah. talk. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking. Sp yeah. They can they speak only say horrible things. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mean girl things. Mm. Oh yeah. no. They're real cliquey. <laughs> mean harpies. Yeah. Oh, you're really gonna wear that today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I love how you'll just wear anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, you don't care what people think about how you look. <laughs> uh, Manbird, you're up. Ah, oh, right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, f I'm gonna fly down, you know. Lovely. Um, and I'm gonna do a mystery spell. Mystery yeah. spell. Yeah, mystery spell. Why not? Uh, mystery spell. Lovely time. Command. Oh, you speak a one-word command to a creature. You can see within range. Huh. Uh, the target must succeed in a wisdom saving throw or follow the command on its next turn. This spell has no effect on the undead. Um, uh, they can speak if common. It if it doesn't understand your language. It, or if your command is directly, uh, it, oh yeah, has no effect if uh, if I'm going to be harming it by saying that, you know, getting into command into this or if they don't speak my language. So, um, ah. so I just say go? Yeah. yeah. Or, or run. Okay, that'll be the thing. <laughs> so they have to, uh, they have to succeed <laughs> the in a wisdom. Torture, telling a winged creature to run. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, I can fly. Why won't you let me fly? <laughs> no, run away, loser. Um, yeah, wisdom saving throw. What do they have to beat? That's a great question. Pro well, probably your um, my, I presume my spell casting. I can tell you with some confidence that whatever it is, it's that's not going to beat it. Yeah. So it's run that runs the command. Yeah. Right. I liked what you said about having to run, not fly. Um, <laughs> this harpy is unfortunately going to take it literally, uh, and just the little sort of cave thing that it's kind of crawling out of. It's just going to like get up sort of on its hind legs. This isn't how they move. It's not very natural. <laughs> and just go like. <laughs> and just sort of peel away from the wall oh, no. and just with the legs going just sort of splash into the ceiling. <laughs> you can see it wriggling a bit. It's not it's dead, but it's fun. no longer a problem. And you're out of initiative order. Well done. Hooray! 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 Wiser and more murderous. Um, <laughs> that was real cool, um, man bird. A memory stirs. <gasps> um, a dinner table in a humble home. It's a feast day. You helped your mother all day in the kitchen, but she is full of praise for the wine your brothers brought, stolen, no doubt. Drink, brother, you miserable coot, they call to you across the table. Your jaw tenses, remain calm, and then. Ooh, mm. a little goody two shoes. Drama. Mm. Right, so is it fair to assume you've all scrambled back up onto yes. the. Yes, I, yeah. I think perhaps. Red's on, I'm on our the side correct now, side. Having, having now. You are, yes. Ooh. Yes, brilliant. So, yeah, you all help each other up here. I think, would it be safe to say that a, a sense of camaraderie is, is, is building? Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Okay. Um, so ahead of you, there's no path as such. It's just increasingly mountainous, cliff-like, rocky terrain. But you can pick a path through it and, um, th yeah, Ahead of you is the direction where you saw that sort of glow when it was still dark. It's now like, it's, it's morning now. Yeah. That's how long com combat takes in D&D. It's morning now. Yeah. <laughs> Two weeks later. It's okay. Morning. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Great. Uh, cool. Are we carrying on? Are we pressing on? I'm feeling much better now with my 24. You're looking much better. Yeah, yeah. I'm mm -hmm. feeling great. Um, so I'm ready to take a little walk then. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Old yeah. pony. I just remembered. Oh, old pony. <laughs> old we pony. can bring pony back later. But we're, we're feeling able-bodied and, and mm. walking now. Mm. Brilliant. So. Uh, yeah, you you set off. Um, Tiddles, you're enjoying having the use functioning of legs. functioning yeah. legs. Functioning legs feels so great. Yeah. Up here, the air is very clear, um, salty and fresh. It brings back a memory all of a sudden. You were a child, a little tabaxi, out on your father's fishing boat. You're frying up fresh caught fish right there in the boat. Packed it and tasted it. Mm -hmm. He spends these days teaching you to navigate by the stars. Son, he says, you will not be a fisherman. Your mother has apprenticed you to a clerk in the capital. And mm -hmm. Hmm. memory is gone. Oh, yeah. Humble memory. beginnings. Mm -hmm. This rocky terrain gives way 
you start to see sort of features cut into the rock that appear to be um, uh, like um, not natural, like little stairs, maybe like what used to be like the foundation of uh, like some kind of home or something. You're getting the impression increasingly that the buildings that you kind of glimpsed before and um, whatever like hamlet or town is here hasn't been functional or lived in for a very long time. You are seeing signs of like ruin, essentially. Mm -hmm. Not like ancient, but... Long abandoned. Long abandoned. Call it like a century or something of like, you know, wind lashed ruin. Um, man bird, <laughs> you spot something that nobody else, uh, that no one else, none of the others uh, spot. It is um, some symbols uh, scratched into um, uh, scratched into some stone, into a stone ruin. Make me a insight check, please. There you go. Plus two. Okay. Oh, that's a two plus two. <laughs> two plus two. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. You all crowd around to sort of study these symbols. You can read them. That wasn't a check to to read them. It was a check to know why you could read them. Mm. Um, these symbols, you you look at them. What they say is it's it's information. It's information about um, tides. It's information um, about uh, something like sort of pa patrol times. Um, you kind of piece together that this is information for smugglers, probably written by smugglers. Uh, and there's a, a sort of crude map. It's not really a map. There's a drawing that, there's a drawing that kind of indicates uh, an entrance, like a, a cave, something like that. Um, and it's behind a, a, like a scratched out sort of triangle with a, with a cross on the top. Mm. Oh, should we go through? Sure. Yeah. yeah. It's probably fine. Yeah. The smugglers are fine. Mm. We might be smugglers. We yeah, might be smugglers. We're, we're criminals, apparently. You could be smugglers, yeah. yeah. The cave isn't here. This is just like directions to mm -hmm. this, this sort of this oh. kind of opening in the rock. We don't have much else to go on. There's no one here, is there? Yeah. So. Let's, let's, let's head in that direction. Sure. Um, as you press on, the landscape becomes gradually more tamed, um, as in like the, it becomes flatter. Uh, there's no kind of forest or like plant life around anymore, really. And there's just sort of old foundations and dilapidated buildings. One of them uh, looks like it was a, a temple. Um, not a, temple sounds too grand. Chapel, maybe, would be a better way to put it. it it's like long since kind of fallen in. It's, it's got no roof anymore, but it does still have a, like a, an arch at the, at the front and, um, you know, an entrance you can go in. You think this is probably where you saw the glow coming from. Mm. And assuming everyone's cool with going inside. Yep. Can we take a little peek first? Shall I do a wisdom? Before announcing shall ourselves. I, shall I percept a bit? <laughs> sure. All right. I'm going to percept a bit. Are um, you using your percepting super skill, or yes. is this just a normal check? Like a wisdom. I'm using my skill. My. But you're not using the ability that you use to write. It's your sneak attack. Yeah. No, yeah, that's just for sneak attacks. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I so. blindly start attacking one of them <laughs> in the chapel. <laughs> Sneakily. Okay. Uh, yeah, just the regular percent, although that's only a 10, so... Okay, a 10 will get you this. Um, you sort of shimmy up to the, the, the entrance of the chapel, like one of the mm -hmm. uh, columns that, that fronts it, and um, you don't peek in, but you can hear uh, sort of scratching sounds. Okay. Something or someone is in there. Okay. There's someone in there. Shall we be very sneaky? Yes, I'm quite good at that as well. You're really good at loads of things. Yeah. Thank you, that's very kind. Well, it's just something I've noticed. Oh, really I appreciate great. the comment, yes. It's yeah, well, It's actually very flattering, particularly as you haven't known me so long. No, not long at all. That you've noticed that I'm rather good at Lots of things, yes. I'm going to do a stealth <laughs> up to, to see, what, see what happens. 
<laughs> if you were waiting for me to interrupt that, <laughs> you've got me all wrong. It's only I want to see where this goes. For the stealth. <laughs> eleven for the stealth. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is it just you? Just you sort of sneaking in? Yes. Okay. I'll, g- I'll give it a go. I'll give yeah. it a go. Yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. try and sneak. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. No one's going to notice an enormous bird. <laughs> Fourteen oh. plus zero. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, that is a one. Oh, oh. sneaky! Banging oh. <laughs> pots and pans oh. like a three-year-old. Harsh. <laughs> I'm not here. Uh, Stealth still fails are the worst. Day. They are the worst. <laughs> are I'm the not worst. in here. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Here's what you see. Tiddles and Manbird, as you uh, kind of poke your heads into this ruined chapel, you see uh, a small fire in the middle of it, a sort of improvised little campfire, um, and there is an Aarakocra um, stood, uh, or let's say sat, kind of in, in front of it with, with their back to you, uh, sort of warming their hands. The wings are out to capture more heat, just basically trying to keep warm. Uh, you can't see too much of what they're wearing from here, but uh, it, it's some kind of uniform. It's uh, a nice uniform. It's a, a deep blue and it's got some gold trim on the shoulders. Um, looks military of some kind. Um, <laughs> Red, uh, you see this mm. and mm. Um, all you see is the fire. And you're like, oh, fire. Great. I like fire. Uh, and maybe it's just exhaustion, maybe mm. it's amnesia, you don't know why, but mm. you just shout the word warm. <laughs> uh, as soon as you see it, um, the Aarakocra spins round and stands up. Uh, they are tall, you get a better look at them. I try um, to make myself look big. You, you make yourself big, yeah, <laughs> sure. Um, the Aarakocra looks at the three of you takes you all in, and then their eyes fix on you, Manbird, and they say, oh, thank God, you managed to capture some of them. (gasps) Uh, yeah, yes. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, This Arakokra pulls out a sword. It's, It's long and looks serious and very well made. Well, you two, filth, into the corner. Come round to me. Come round to me, I say. Ah, now, now the, these two. That's an order. I, 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 I just wanted to explain. These two aren't. Uh, they're, they're no harm. They'll be. They'll, they'll be just fine. They're, 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 they, they can join us. We, we, we need to get off this island, I think. And um, don't worry about these two. They're, they're great. Warm. <laughs> Inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Have inspiration. <laughs> no harm. No harm. I'm sorry. Remind me your name. My <laughs> name is Man Bird Birdman. <laughs> None if you move. Uh, he produces from his from one of his pockets, a little notebook, and with one hand. Who did you kill to get that yellow tabard? Uh, I didn't There's ki- no bird man, bird, birdman. I don't. <laughs> bird. I, I didn't kill anyone. Master. I, I, didn't, I didn't kill anyone. Um, uh, I, I don't know who I am. You don't know who you are? Well, they shouldn't know who they are, but you should. I don't know. I don't remember anything. Ha! Ah! Let me ask you this. Back on the ship, were you on day watch? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, of course, yes, you don't know, do you? <laughs> oh my God, wait till the captain hear about this. About this. You're a drowser. Oh. You bloody idiots. What does that mean, uh, sleepy? <laughs> uh, hmm. Well, I could explain it to you. And I shall. <laughs> <laughs> How to ex- Gosh, it's funny that the, the. I get this all the time on board when I'm talking to the captives. The things that you totally take for granted, and suddenly you have to explain them, and it's like, where do I begin? It's like, how do I explain wind? 
uh, <laughs> all right. Um, okay, okay. You are an idiot. You indulge in a practice known as drowsing when you touch a nemesine. You know what that is? I think, is that, is that, is that yes. Yes. It, wow. I, I, think, <laughs> I don't really know what it is, but I've heard it before. Don't, oh, bless you. <laughs> when you touch it, as well as stealing all of your memories. While this is going on, I'm just going to quietly. Sure. Just do a spell. <laughs> <laughs> just yep. going to quietly. I'm just like, you carry on. I'm just, you, I'm just going to scratch scratching something. You scratch it off, yeah. read it, <laughs> absorb it. Yeah. And I'll let you know what happens at the end of your yeah. conversation. <laughs> when you touch it, it makes, it, as well as stealing your memory, it makes you very sleepy. Some people who are stupid touch the menu sign at the end of the day's work to get to sleep a little easier. Then they wake up in the morning, touch it, get their memories back. Some of the guards do it, and you must be one such, you idiot. And oh. now the menu sign's gone and you've got no memory. Oh no, it's, go it's gone. <laughs> well, it it's gone from you. Oh, C can I have it? Can you have it? Oh, well, can I touch it? I tell you what, you could do yourself a big favor in terms of your standings with me, if you would tie these two up. I've made friends. You've made friends. They're, they're real. They're very nice. <laughs> You've made friends with the most hate. Memory loss, of course. Um, all right, well, uh, I don't have time or inclination to fill you in on anymore. So tie them up or I'll kill you and then them. Well, let me fill you in on this. <laughs> North is that way. <laughs> and it's exactly 14 hours to the next sunset. <laughs> My keen mind oh, no. told me that. Oh. <laughs> oh. I really thought Does it, it help? was going to be useful. I well, I tell you what, because that is so funny to me. Here's what I'll say. Which way is north? That way. When you do that, he is going to look that way briefly. <laughs> I guess I want to punch him in the face. <laughs> Pointless. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to punch him in the face. Yeah, you? sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, I'm... you're right. <laughs> How do you know that? Oh, you lost your memory. <laughs> uh, I'm going to scratch off my strength, I guess. This is a strength thing, Ooh. I suppose. Minus one. Oh. oh, oh! Weak, brittle, to back, elderly tabaxi. You're, right. you're pun punching, right? Yeah. I think a tabaxi punch is finesse. I would roll. More like your... a claw. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why well, am I still trying to knock him out though? Yeah, so you do actually have like there is a, a tabaxi trait that is okay. like sort of dead, deadly claws or something. Right. Um, okay. Let me just well, it doesn't matter because it. I've only rolled a two. So. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, it's more of a dry. Yeah. Toe bean slap. Yeah. <laughs> That was soft. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was you. Oh, you're stood right here. Right up in front of me now. Yes. Hello. Um, he's going to point his sword at you. There is but, one more thing that this says, and I don't know whether it applies or not. Go on. But my keen mind spell, as well as letting you always know which as way As well is as north, always letting me know which and way how is many north, hours and to the sunset. number of hours to the next sunrise or sunset. It does say I can accurately recall anything I have seen or heard within the past month. Oh. oh. How does that oh. interact with the concept of amnesia? Uh, uh, any, gosh, this is like a sort of recursive spiraling problem. Game-breaking issue. Game-breaking yeah, issue. Yeah, it's like a, a divide by zero for d d Yeah. <laughs> you recall, mm. what was it again? You rec accurately D9. recall anything I've seen or heard within the past month. Wow. I would have deleted that if I'd read it more carefully. <laughs> <laughs> sort of runs counter to the entire concept. <laughs> but, but here we are and I didn't. So, <laughs> helps you recall anything you've seen and heard in the last month. I'll tell you what, as a compromise, um, I'm going to give you, as you say this north is this way thing, yeah. a huge number of jigsaw pieces fall into place. Right. Not everything. Okay. Fine. Because it's only the last month. Yep. And frankly, like... Most of that month has been on a ship, probably. Yeah. Like, <laughs> um, here's what you remember. You remember a cold, 
a cramped, confined jail cell mm. below decks, uh, where you were sort of kept yeah. very, very dark, a little bit of sunlight filtering through the grate. And this is basically where you've, you've been kept. You um, were the only blue tier prisoner aboard. You were the only one in this cell. Um, on the other side of the hold, there were many, many sort of criminals in who weren't kept in sort of blue tier, solitary confinement like you were. Um, they were all wearing red uh, clothing. And uh, occasionally, to check on you, to bring you food, or sometimes just to like smack you about with a cudgel um, with the guards who were dressed in yellow. Uh, they were all at Aracocra because, as, because barely a month hence, you set sail from uh, an Aracocran uh, city ruled over by the Duke. Mm -hmm. um, the, what else? Let's see, a month back? Hmm, here's what else you remember. Um, you remember a, a door in front of you. You remember feeling incredibly nervous. You remember summoning your courage. Um, and you remember stepping through the door into a dimly lit tavern and a hush descending among the people who were there. Uh, it's a, like a, it's a rabble. It's a rabble, it's a, it's, it's a, a scrappily dressed and heavily armed sort of mob. Um, you take a deep breath and you address them. However did you end up their de facto leader, you wonder. Tonight must go perfectly, you tell them. The Duke's barge will anchor to lay in stores for exactly 10 minutes. The pilot will lower a rope over the stern for our troops to board. Our mole within the security detail will keep the Duke and his guards busy elsewhere. A quick death and clean is our best chance to ensure a smooth transition of power. Now to finer details. And then... Wow. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm feeling a lot healthier now, so I'm not going to immediately share that information with everyone, <laughs> including this guard. But uh, yeah, sure. mentally logged that I was, you know, maybe trying to as assassinate, you know, the Duke and mm -hmm. all that. So, yep. Um, as this the Aracocra holds the saber to you, you notice that the hand is trembling. You are the probably the most famous, Pretty. famous, infamous uh, figure this right. this Aracocra has ever met. Um, they frown, they say. I'm the only one who knows that you survived. Mm. I never thought you should even be put on trial after what you did. A trial is too good for you. And we all know what the outcome will be anyway. We all know what the sentence is going to be. Why don't I just finish it right here and now? Well, I'm extremely well connected, aren't I? And that might be terrible for you and your family. Slash, I mean, they're definitely gonna try and kill you for that. I was wrong. <laughs> um, right. Didn't even get to roll charisma. That's loads of charisma. <laughs> so persuasive. Uh, roll me intimidation oh, okay. for that. All right, I've got Because that, that was a horrible thing to say. It was, was wasn't very it? mean. Yeah. Threatened basically indirectly to kill yeah. his family. Whether or not I meant it. But you know, I've, I've unlocked this memory of me being a criminal mastermind, and now I'm like, well, maybe I should lean into it. Okay. Maybe I'm entering my villain era. Sure. That's a two. That's two. Short villain era. It is a short era. <laughs> Have we? Do we know your armor class? Uh, uh, yes, it's twelve. Yeah, yeah, you're stabbed. Mm, yeah. Uh, mm. yeah, the 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 saber comes down in a. It was held like this, and it it's just basically going to be sort of pushed in you. Ah. Uh, into your... You'd hit an old man. I mean, that... Monster. You, you're getting older all the time. I think you were originally described as middle-aged. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not that old. You're hey. fine. I've been so Cat smashed years. up, I feel I feel like I've aged about 20 years in the last like, 24 hours. Uh, take 11 points. Oh. Oh. Damage. They were oh. aiming for the heart, but were trembling. I um, don't have a heart. I don't even know if I have a heart. <laughs> all right. Apparently I'm a criminal. Bad man. Bad cat. <laughs> Bad cat. Fine. Okay. Uh, are we in initiative? Are, you, are we going to roll for initiative or are we? I suppose. Are we in a fight? Is anyone else fighting? Do you want to be in, do you want to be in a fight? Yeah. He's pushed his sword I mean, into... <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we've done Tiddles. some good bonding at this yeah, point. Yeah, right. And we pile yeah. on this unnamed bird man. Yeah. He's, he's going to look at you, uh, uh, man bird, and make 
one last appeal. Mm. Guard, there's riches and promotion in it for you. If you help me finish him off. It'll be our little secret. Kill them both, then we go down. Tell the captain nothing of what we saw. We sail away. And I promise, I'm, I'm a powerful and, and connected. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a lieutenant. I, I can, you want to move up in the, in the service? I can, I can make it happen. No, I really like these guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Then die with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, initiative order it will be then. Cool. Uh, right. You haven't even asked this guy's Ooh, name. It's a natural 20. Hooray! Hooray! I'm so fast. <laughs> like nice. <to> win. <laughs> um, how about you, Red? Seven. Oh, wait, sorry, uh, 10. Okay. And Tiddles? Uh, mine was eight. And who have I missed? Oh yeah, that's hey, seventeen. Well done, Lieutenant. <laughs> well done. <laughs> um, okay, right. So, Manbird, you're up first. Right. Well, I think it's time for another mystery spell. Mystery. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> the most fun bits. Um, ah, thaumaturgy. Oh, whoa! You create one of the uh, uh, following magical effects. Within range, your voice booms up to three times as loud as normal for one, win one, one minute. I can cause flames to flicker, <laughs> brighten, <laughs> dim, it's or change as good as my colour. knowing which way north is. <laughs> <laughs> I can cause harmless tremors on the ground for one minute. <laughs> Does it specify harmless? Yeah, it says harmless. <laughs> it specifies harmless. <laughs> 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 Don't get any ideas, they're harmless. <laughs> I can create an instantaneous sound that originates from a point of choice within range, such as a rumble of thunder or, or the cry of a raven or <laughs> ominous whispers. And you in instantaneously cause an unlocked door or window to fly open or slam shut. <laughs> You're only an unlocked one. <laughs> you Don't get any ideas. Or, or I can alter the appearance of my eyes for one minute. <laughs> <laughs> and which of these incredible abilities will you be deploying? <laughs> In this fight for your life. <laughs> Make your eyes look like burning. <laughs> you know. That sounds a bit much. <laughs> I think yeah. I'll um, I'll uh, make my voice boom for, uh, up to three minutes. Uh, three, no, three times as loud wow. as normal for one minute. And uh, 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 tell him, you don't want to mess with me! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. Uh, so I'll try and intimidate that. him away. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's make this... I feel like this is a... Constitution saving throw for the lieutenant to make uh, against your modifier. <laughs> okay, um, what did you say exactly? <laughs> you don't want to mess with me! No, I don't! <laughs> <laughs> he, dro he drops the saber, falls is it, to is his the knees. the saber still on my, in my, in my <laughs> Oh yeah, he drops it, it stays in you. Um, yeah, so it's kind of poking out of you now. Uh, he drops to his knees. Please, please, just... Just let, just let me go. You, you can live. You can live all of you. Just Say you some more loud things. Live this on this island. Great. Have a lovely time. Just let me go. Tell us where the the never sign <laughs> is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So of course, anything. It's 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 through. There's a cave that way. Um, it, and it, it, it's there's a cave network down. There's a, a. Sorry, I'm very scared. So I'm sometimes when I'm nervous, I. <laughs> Acid reflux! <laughs> it's all right, take a few breaths. <laughs> Still booming. <laughs> this is another minute of this. <laughs> Good man, it happens to all of us. <laughs> down there, there's a, a, tunnels lead down to a cove. That's where the captain is and my superior, whose name is, whose name is, Lieutenant Beeksy. <laughs> Beeksy. Yes. First Lieutenant Beeksy, yes. Oh. Beeksy and the captain are down there. They're, they're modifying the rowboat for a longer voyage in, in case no rescue comes. And the captain has the men aside. Now, please, let me go. I, I will, on one last condition. I say sorry for the stabbing. That's the condition. Oh, and also don't tell anyone about us. But mainly say sorry for the stabbing. Sorry, sorry for this. Sorry for the stabbing. Fine, I'll think about it. 
Shall I take my sword back? No. No, we're no, keeping we're it. We're going to keep that. You've been harsh but fair. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. I think that's in a normal voice. <laughs> <laughs> and he sort of, he sort of is like, <laughs> did I just give my, oh. it's not as frightening as you were a second ago. I've given away my sword. That's Too annoying. late now. I think we should tie, <laughs> him, tie, no, tie him up with the rope. He was going to tie us up. Oh, with. That's a good challenge. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do that. Sure. <laughs> I feel like he's going to make a little run for it. Yeah. Uh, Red, it was your idea. Yeah. Make me a quick strength athletics. All right. I'd love Actually, to. No, call have you, it, have you call it dex acrobatics. Dex acrobatics. Dex acrobatics. Dex acrobatics. Why must yeah. you <laughs> You know what? Don't bother. That was. But all. I want to know what my acrobatics <laughs> oh, okay. is well, now. Oh, okay. In that case, do bother. Very but, yeah. Okay. Am I acrobatic? Boy, am I. Boy, are yes, you? Are. Yeah, I'm proficient wow. in acrobatics. Mm -hmm. Now, whatever you're going to roll, it's probably going to be to one, right? Yeah. I mean. Cool. It kind of has to. Yeah. You roll it if you like. Yeah, let's roll it for fun. Oh, and it's a twenty. Isn't that so, twenty? Right. <laughs> Wow! Yeah, a contested roll. Yeah. One twenty. Yeah. <laughs> you do a Brilliant. flip over him and tie him up while you're doing the yeah. flip. Probably. Yeah, he starts to run. Yeah, yeah. You. I sort of lasso him. Hold out an arm. Yeah. He's clotheslined painfully yeah. to the floor. Yeah. And he lands in a way that he gets tied up. Yeah. Automatically. Yeah. The ropes yeah. around him. And yeah. Tighten them once and. Whirl a rope. Series of complicated knots. Form. Yeah. 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 Cool knots. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah, a memory stirs as you yeah. tie these knots. <laughs> they are fishermen's knots. Oh. Uh, you remember, um, the last time you tied a knot like this, it was a rare visit to your home village, a tiny fishing hamlet. You are the pride of the village, but today your parents look concerned. The guards stand in the hall, a scroll unfurled in the hand of one of them. The villagers are gathered. There is the familiar smell of salting fish, your stomach tenses. The guard reads the list of names. They're conscripting more and more every year for the Duke's Crusades. You hear your little brother's name. We rely on him, the chief shouts, his voice lost in the general outcry. An angry villager turns to your mother and spits out, gesturing to you, she's the same as them. End memory. Huh. Okay, uh, yeah, okay. and now, yeah. Now, this, now this dude's tied up. Yeah. Conscious or unconscious, your preference. Conscious. Conscious is fine. He can't fine. do anything. Yep. Now, don't you make any loud noises. <laughs> <laughs> no one could hear me from here if I did. Well, good. Lessen my bonds. I'll starve to death if you leave me here. You mean, won't Beeksy come for you? Your Lieutenant, Lieutenant Be Beeksy? Hmm? I, I suppose if it's time to go and I'm well, not there... You won't starve before then, will you? Well, no, but Beeksy and the captain are going to leave this island. Not without you. I hope not. Oh. I hope not for your sake. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'll, Hi, then. I'll place my trust in you. What, what, what else do you know about this Awful guy? Awful criminal. Traitor. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> no, the vibe sound. Yeah. <laughs> you would help him. Disgusting. Well, you didn't do a very good job in the end, did I'm you? already leaving. Bye. Cool. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> You walk away from this valuable exposition and it sort of fades, into the, <laughs> fades into the background. Um, you find the you find the cleft in the wall where this sort of dark cavern, um, yeah, like cave network goes. Are we heading in? Yeah, we are. Yeah. Um, nothing untoward happens on the way down. Um, although it, it's it's dark, but those of you without dark vision, which I think is probably just red, uh, the two of you. Um, very helpfully, sort of help steer mm. her generously. And you emerge um, on a little, it's almost like a kind of natural balcony in the stone that you sort of peep your head out of. You can see down below you, there's a, there's a cove. You've gone down a long way, down to sea level, in fact. And you look out, it, it's an enclosed rocky cove with one, with, with like an exit at the, at the end, out into mm. the open ocean. Down on the... Uh, shoal, you can see um, an Arakokra in splendid uniform um, pacing back and forth. You can see a rowboat uh, that's been sort of mounted on some pieces of driftwood and there's another uh, Arakokra wearing very similar uniform to the one you just tied up um, who is working with a saw and tools in sort of improving that rowboat. Okay. Getting it ready, getting it seaworthy for a potentially very long voyage. 
Now, I don't know what a Nemo sign looks like, but no, I'm expecting don't. a magical item. Could be big, could be small. Mm. Can I sort of look around and see if there's anything like that in the boat? Or? Yeah, anyone can do this with a check or a spell or whatever yeah, they want. I'll look around for it as well. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Do some percepting. Oh, that's a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's a dirty 27. That's Ooh, wow. um, a 13. Okay. Um, tiddles. Yes. Uh, bring my fingers up to my eye yeah. once more. We're up to the eye. Um, you spot. Where will it be? It's in the boat. Uh, in the rowboat, there's a sort of small mass of, of stores, like whatever these three basically could take off of the ship with them before it was destroyed. Mm. Uh, and placed on one of the kind of seating planks is a, a black box. It is ornately carved. Mm. Um, even from this distance, it's it's quite beautiful, and it's like the the surface of it is is so dark. It's almost like by looking at it, you can't. It's almost it's almost like it. You're forgetting it as you look at it. It's like your mind is struggling to mm. grasp it. Mm. The fact that it's there, but it is there. You can see it. Cool. You don't know that that's the never sign, but it sure is a magical item. Mm. Mm. Okay. Well, that, that looks magical. Yeah. That thing looks magical. What thing? <laughs> roll them natural ones. On oh, yeah, right. Oh, yeah. yeah. These pebbles? No. Oh, no. You no, start no, swallowing no, no. pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> Memories <laughs> return. <laughs> <laughs> Each one, one a delicious memory. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all eat the pebbles. <laughs> it's my fourth birthday. One of these has to be Okay. Well. Um, we, ha we have an advantage here, which is that you're wearing a guard's uniform. Mm. Uh, so you could probably approach, without us, approach the captain mm. and the first lieutenant without arousing too much suspicion if you just said that you survived the shipwreck mm. and you washed ashore and it's taken you some time to get here. That's a good idea. And then, I don't know, improvise after that. <laughs> 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 That's as far as the plan goes. Um, Maybe you know. I could pretend I've captured you both and then we fight them. Surprise, you sneaky. could. The only danger is that they decide they just want to, to, to kill, kill you. us there and there. Well, you're a, you, you're, you're a high profile assassin of, of, of some tribe. I think I'm just a sort of, just an ordinary prisoner. Apparently, yes. So what if you lay in wait? Yeah. And I'll go be the fake prisoner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then improvise. Yeah, and then improvise from there. Use your muscular arms to, yeah. to, to do something. To, to, to do something. <laughs> I've never had muscular yeah. arms. I, I wouldn't know what to do with them. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Well, that seems like a sound plan. If I stay up here on the on the balcony, or, you know, use perhaps use my stealth to get near but not visible, mm. then you two can enact plan, pretend to be Fake guard, prisoner. guard and yeah. prisoner. Okay. Cool. Okay. Love it. Yeah. So you're staying up there, uh, For the moment, yeah, I may, I may slink down in a sort of feline way. Red and Manbird, you are approaching the captain. Yeah, yeah. Describe how this looks, please, Manbird. Um, I'm going to be, uh, um, I, I will have the sabre that, that, that nice. we took off that bloke. Yeah. And I'll be holding it at Red uh, as, we, as we're walking along. Yeah. Just sort of shepherding you along. And, uh, and then I will shout out, Captain! And I hope that the captain turns around first. <laughs> <laughs> the captain suddenly turns, yeah, certainly turns around upon hearing this. Uh, this is a, an Aarakocra of advanced age, barrel-chested, broad-shouldered, upright, angry-looking. My god, who the hell are you? I am Private Birdman. Um, Birdman. Birdman. You are a guard on board. Exactly. And I've I've captured one of the escaped prisoners. You've captured what? My God, the turncoat! You disgusting creature! <laughs> I should end you here and now. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh! But that's not how we do things, right, Captain? We we, we have a fair trial, correct? Mm. The Duke's decree, a public humiliation. Though I suppose that would be more satisfying than running you through 
in this godforsaken cave. What did you say your name was? Bourbon. Bourbon. Big say! You have a master over there? No, sir! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna move a bit no. closer while this is going on, actually, if that's okay. No, sir! Wingson has the master! We sent him up to start a fire! Mercy. Well. <laughs> what were you rolling for? Just a stealthy uh. thing. Uh. But it's a one. You rolled a one on a yeah, stealth check. On a stealth check, yeah. Oh, it's a one. Dear. I don't add anything to that, do I? Just it's just no. a one. It's a big old, <laughs> that's, that's one. The plan was going. It so was going well. so smooth. <laughs> okay. I thought this can't possibly go wrong. I'm sure. I wasn't even going to move right up close. To no, move. that's happening in the background. Yeah. So right, where were we? Yes. Yeah. Well, I, I have no muster, so I've, I've no way of checking the veracity of your claims. But you've you've certainly distinguished yourself rather well, capturing this one. Thank uh, you, tie her up, get her on the boat. We're getting out of here. Ah, right. But so we're all going to get out of here. Ah. Yes, that's what I said. Ah, good. And uh, I'll have to t uh, uh, tie her up, eh? Um, hmm. Yes. Uh, but I have no rope, Captain. Sorry. There's I rope on the boat. Ah, rope on the boat. Good. Yes. That's good. Uh, that's. You always good. ask this many questions. Oh, uh, yes. It'll be a bloody long voyage. Ah, really? I don't want any chatterboxes aboard. What? Well, what will we do then? Well, on the, I, on the trip, <laughs> if we can't talk. You would sit in awed silence <laughs> and contemplate how lucky you are not to be run through by me, Captain, oh. Captain Captain Winslot. It just doesn't sound very fun. And I go, oh, it was Winslot. It looked like <laughs> mind slot on the, on the note. Yeah. It what was, was that? <laughs> I heard a sound. <laughs> Up uh, there, you! <laughs> Identify yourself. Uh... Hello, I am Tiddles, a mere cat. Me not a mere cat, a mere space cat. A mere space cat. <laughs> <laughs> In a world with giant space hamsters, it's not that implausible, is it? <coughs> Tiddles, is it? Tiddles, yep. Right, okay. I'm glad you're alive, Paige. Come down here. You I might just kill now. Oh, all right. I guess I'll come down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll do it as well. Do we do it? Go on, I, Sneaky. I, all right, I, I'm walking down, but as I do it, I'm going to cast my last mystery spell because YOLO, right? Mm, mm. Right. I've only got 13 hit points anyway, so. Yeah. Uh, observant is the, is the skill. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, great. Oh, I'm super observant. What do you observe? <laughs> oh, things like, you know, I, I can see a creature's mouth. If I can see a creature's mouth while it's speaking a language, I understand. I can lip read it. Well, that's good, isn't it? Right now in this life or death <laughs> that's situation. That's really useful. Yep. Uh, I mean, we could mouth something at you from yeah, the beach yeah. if we had a, a plan. Plus yeah. five bonus to passive perception, passive investigation. So if something just occurs, I'll probably notice it. Uh, and I can increase my intelligence and wisdom score by one. Cool. It would have been useful when I was coming up with a plan that didn't have an end to it. <laughs> yep, that sounds good. I was uh, only half listening to that because I was just checking the rules of death saving totally throws. <laughs> death saving throws. <laughs> okay. Um, right, yeah, so you're you're doing that. It's Apparently happening. so. Yeah. Can you can you conceive of any way that it might be advantageous? Well, I suppose to you? I could. I could. No do a, is an acceptable answer. I could do a wisdom <laughs> perception throw as I'm walking down and yeah, see sure. if there's anything I can grab to defend myself or. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to do that because why not? So uh, wisdom perception. I've got eight plus eight in perception. This is going to have to be good. It's eighteen to beat. Well, I, I've rolled a nineteen and I've got a, a oh, you know twenty-seven. Plus eight, so twenty-seven. Okay. Uh, yeah, as you sort of shamefacedly sort of climb your way down, mm. trying to avoid the um, furious stares of your teammates. <laughs> uh, yeah, what do you spot? So what are you looking for? Something with which to defend yourself? Yeah, some sort of, uh, yeah, some sort of shield or protection or something something that will prevent me from losing my, my 13 hit points, which is what I'm rocking at the moment. Mm. And this is, read it to me again. Description. Uh, it says I increase my intelligence or wisdom score by one. Great. But then I just have a plus five bonus to passive perception, passive investigation, and I've just rolled a, a big perception thing. So, you know what? 
You rolled big. Yeah, I just thought of something that would be more fun. Okay. Okay. Uh, you notice something that you can use to defend yourself with. It is the uh, top of a cask, like the circular yep. kind of barrel. With a sort thing. of wooden handle on yeah, it. Yeah, with a, with a sort of, so it's like a little round mm. thing. Could be an improvised shield. Um, and as you're walking, you discreetly pretend to stumble and just mm. sort of scoop it up, hide it behind your back. Got it. The captain doesn't notice because it's quite dim in here. Okay. And he is quite dim in general. Yeah. Um, what you notice, the other thing you notice though, is that the sea, mm. or like the water in this cove, appears to be sort of boiling. Okay. Kind of bubbling. The captain hasn't noticed. Wow. He's facing you and facing away from it. Okay. The other Arakokra working on the ship on the boat has not noticed it either, lost in their work. Um, huh. Only someone as perceptive. You. Yeah, wow. Well, Would have spotted this. Right. Wonder, I wonder if now, having perceived that, mm -hmm. uh, whether I could pick up the pace using my feline agility to double my speed and use the top of the cast thing as like a battering ram to try and ram him into the water. You can always try. Of course. Because <laughs> this is D&D. &D I you can think always what you've described has to be a stealth. Uh, sorry, it's not stealth. It has to be strength. That's fine. I, yeah. would, I would love to let you do this with dexterity, but it just sounds yeah, like it's, it. Yeah, it's me using feline agility yeah. to, to barrel towards him at top, yeah. uh, top speed. You're trying to knock, you're trying to push him over. Basically. Yeah, well, like send him. Cool. So we'll make this contested. He is strong. Okay. What's your right? <laughs> let me do mine and we'll see. I'm going to tell you, I got a 12. <gasps> Oh, I got a 12, but I'm minus one strength. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> oh, oh How man. How did that go? You, uh, so close. Yeah, you you run in with your little improvised shield and just kind of bash it into the, the, <laughs> the captain's chest. He moves back slightly, uh, but with trained martial prowess, turns your speed and strength, mm. what there is of it, against you and just sort of instinctively tosses you over his shoulder into the sea. Oh no! Um, oh. Yeah, uh, and look, just, it doesn't look, it doesn't look over his shoulder. Here's the splash, and just looks at you two, and I'm like, that's that dealt with. Now, you, in the ship, we'll put you on trial. That'll be enough, the Duke will be satisfied. And I can tell people, long after the Duke's dead, that I had the privilege of personally dispatching page of a book, the hated would-be leader. That's his, that's his name. Yes, that was his name. Page of a book. Yes. Sorry, it's just a funny name. It is a funny, it's a stupid <laughs> name. <laughs> a stupid name, the stupid name of a failed movement. Mm. Is there any, now, uh, is there any chance we could have a little look at the Nemesis quickly? <laughs> 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 is there any chance you could have a look at the Nemesine quickly? <laughs> quickly is the only way you'll be looking at the Nemesine. It's one of the most important objects on board, and I, the captain, am the only one permitted to hold it. Well, not hold it. I'd lose my memory. That would be bad. <laughs> Deal with it. It would be nice to have a little, 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 little touch. You want to touch it? You want to lose your memory? Why? I've seen some bad things. Ah, <laughs> ah, trouble sleeping. Yes. Yes, I've tried drowsing a few times. It's, uh, uh, I know it's illegal, but uh, yeah, there's something to be said for it. Mm. Take this prisoner, tie them up, and afterwards maybe we'll talk about the Nemesine. Uh, can I see the sea behind the captain? Yeah, it's like bubbling more and more. You can see it now. And you can see Tiddles sort of face thrashing down. around in the, <laughs> in the, in the shallows. Um, Tiddles, you feel something very large brush your oh dear brush against your back. Oh dear, uh, sort of <laughs> moving past you like that. Um, yeah, don't like it. Large, complicated, dark shape in the water. Mm, no, mm. you can see it though, Red. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, <laughs> am I allowed to try and get out, or is yeah. it not a? Sure. Okay, fine. Uh, I'd like to go and try and help. Help him out. Oh, okay. Yeah, to the, you know, I'm not tied up. No, no. No. So you're gonna make yeah. a run for it. Basically. Well, you know, I'm gonna go try and help a fellow prisoner out of the water. Okay. I mean, I'm I'm already on on trial for who knows what. 
Yeah, that's what true. Are they do? I don't think this is the like kind of thing more. that the captain or your like mm. guard character yeah. would theoretically allow. So I think the captain will try and stop you, certainly. Okay. But uh, okay. yeah. Yeah. And I'll yeah. pretend to stop you. Yeah. But exactly, we're not yeah. breaking character. No, okay. You know, yeah. so, oh, no! Yeah. Where are I'm you going? You should maybe stumble over it. some things. Yeah. And, oh. yeah. Yeah. Uh, performance check, please. And uh, dex acrobatics. Yeah. Performance, that's a new one to scratch it off. It is, Ooh. yes. All right, well, Plus we all know this. I'm great at acrobatics, so that's an 18. Wow, okay. And that's an eight plus two. Okay, yeah, that'll do it. Um, I'll tell you what, your, no, wait, stop, isn't very convincing, <laughs> but you actually put your body between the captain and Red. Mm. Uh, that's the most powerful part of your acting. Just going like, no, and so the captain draws his cutlass and tries to take a swing at you, Red, but you're in the way. Uh, Move, man! <laughs> your charge is escaping. <laughs> Red, you just scamper. Thunder, <laughs> around. Yeah. Sprint down, yeah. sprint down to the water. Yeah. Yeah, skid into the shallows awesomely. Yeah, yeah, wade Grab. in. Yeah. Try and thrust an arm in, in the direction mm -hmm. of... Stones are awesomely kicked up, yeah, into the roiling Tiddles. water. I grab the firm, muscular <clears throat> arm. Yeah. And I pull. Yeah. Yeah. pull. yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you can pull Tiddles out. As you, Intact. As you do this behind you, um, the, the, the enormous, bulbous, revolting head of a giant octopus sort of <laughs> bubbles out. Oh, it's oh, the no. mother of the octopus I killed with a stone earlier. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. Looks like it's lost one of its brood. Oh, no. <laughs> Consequences. <laughs> <laughs> you figure out, you can tell that because you're so perceptive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. The captain, however, also it sees had this. had its mother's eyes. Yeah. <laughs> the captain sees this and stumbles backwards. My God. You must have followed me here. <laughs> well, yeah. kill that thing. That thing? That thing, yes. It was huge. <laughs> <laughs> it destroyed our ship. Oh, uh, well, that was. Uh, what a, a ship of the Duke's Navy. You are duty bound to kill it. But, <laughs> go. Oh, oh, oh go, go away, you. <laughs> you, you. Looking at you, you're clearly capable. Kill this octopus, and maybe I, I have some political sway. Clemency could come your way, a reduced sentence, not death. What if I kill the octopus? You're dying no matter oh. what. <laughs> I'll kill your octopus, but you gotta let me touch the nemesine. Yes, deal. Sweet. Thought there'd be more resistance to that offer. Kill that, kill the octopus now. No, never mind. Wait, for all of us. It could destroy the boat. If it destroys the boat, none of us are getting off of this island. All right. We'll have to kill this octopus, I suppose. But we all want to have a little touch of the Nemesine. Even me. Well, I don't think you'll be very happy with what you find. You, you'll lose your memories. I suppose you'll be potentially happier, so yes, yes. fine. But you two, oh, I hope what you find when you touch that thing sickens you. Anyway, business first. Fine. Right. The octopus <laughs> rises out of the sea, uh, and its huge sort of serving tray-sized eyes swivel, out, swivel around to look at you all, size you all up. Does it remember the kid? <laughs> its eye narrows. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this octopus loves two things, destroying ships and protecting its family. Oh no. <laughs> and yeah, you've deprived it of one of its loves. Uh, okay, so shall I plunge us into initiative order again? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yep. All right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, five. 16. 14. Nice one, octopus. Uh, is the captain going to fight alongside you? Would you like him to? I mean, he's great. Yeah, if he can help. He's a big old octopus. Sure. Red, you're up first. All right. Well, let's do a mystery spell. Oh yeah! Yes. Oh yeah! Oh, you got a couple to play. We got a couple you? of mystery spells, including create bonfire. <laughs> oh, we're Hello. going to be warm tonight, everybody. Get ready for a bonfire on ground. Oh. Uh, that <laughs> you can see within range. 
Uh, until the spell ends, the magic bonfire fills a five foot uh, cube. So one of those cube bonfires. Sure. Any creature in the bonfire's space must succeed. Oh, okay, so it does kind of work as a fire spell as well. Any creature in the bonfire's space, when you cast the spell, must succeed on a dex saving throw or take 1d8 fire damage. But crucially, this octopus is not on ground. No, that is true. A creature must also make the saving throw when it moves into the... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll tell you this, Red. Yes. You're about to magically create a little bonfire. Yeah. Where would you like it to go? <laughs> well, yeah, because I, I can try and cast it somewhere else. It just won't become a bonfire, right? Sure. All right, That's well then I, I try and cast a bonfire on the nose area of a giant octopus. Sure. It's the beaky area. A magical little bonfire, yep. roughly cube shaped. Yeah, five forms foot up, cube. Forms up on the octopus's face and is extinguished and the little logs roll into the sea and magically disappear. <laughs> the octopus doesn't appear aware that this has happened. <laughs> which, which could be a mercy. Uh, okay. Uh, octopus is up next. Mm, Who's yeah. ready to die by octopus? Okay, uh, tentacles. Tiddles. What's your armor class? Uh, it is 12. Yep. <laughs> Didn't uh, even hesitate. Okay. There you go. Okay, you take six points of damage. Got it. Uh, as this tentacle sweeps across the beach and Slaps you silly. <laughs> Fine. More pertinently, though, oh. it um, it wraps around you, oh. and you are grappled. It it li hoists you aloft like that, and you are wrapped up in a tentacle. Oh dear. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Tiddles, you're next. I imagine you'll want to use your turn to try and escape from so the try tentacle. Try and wriggle free. Yes. But I, but you know, I don't want to follow your own path. Well, maybe you want to be. Eaten. Maybe. I have a lot of options. I've got seven hit points. Yikes. Not a lot of abilities. Yikes. The north is again. Yeah, I could let you know how long it is till sunrise. <laughs> um, maybe that's all the octopus wants to know. It just wants to know the time. Um, yeah, I think I've got to try and get out of this. Get out of this, this grapple. Sure. Uh, make me a dexterity saving throw, mm -hmm. 16. Plus five to my dexterity saving throws. Actually, yeah, it's uh, 16 to beat. Mm, it's 15. Oh, darn. Okay. Second time I've missed by one. Yeah, that's so close. I'm going to say if next time it comes around to your turn, you can get free. Okay, so fine. Last one turn. Okay. Assuming you haven't been killed. Assuming you haven't been killed, big assumption. Um, <laughs> the captain is up next. He's going to charge with his cutlass towards the octopus. He's going to miss it somehow, <laughs> even though it's so big and so squashy. Uh, yeah, he sort of charges, he trips up in the shallows in his enthusiasm. And uh, that's his turn, Manbird. Um, I'm going to um, use Branding Smite. Mm. Um, uh, and so I can, I can have, make, make a weapon uh, attack, have radiant damage as well. You've got the saber, haven't you? At the moment? I've got the saber and I've also got that spear. Oh. oh yeah! I'm wondering whether I just throw that spear into his eyeball. This big eyeball, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's Ooh. my that's my plan. Yeah. Um, okay. And I guess it'll be plus two would be my strength when it if I'm throwing this thing. Uh, so nineteen plus two. Wang! Yeah, that hits definitely. Fantastic. Holy spear right in the eyeball. Amazing. So that means um, uh, it'll this will deal an extra two d six radiant damage plus. Uh, another d6 for every. It would just be another d6. So we. 3d6 radiant damage plus whatever the damage of the spear is. I can't remember what that was. 2d8 feels right though. Great. So we'll do. Uh, 7 plus 5 is 12. And then it's going to be 3d6 radiant damage. That's <gasps> two sixes. Yeah. So that's 24. Oh, and it's just one more. One. Uh, so 25 points of damage. Not bad. Yeah, he gets beard. 25. Yes. Thanks. Okay. I rolled very well today. Yeah. <laughs> this spear, you throw it. Uh, the, the octopus is thrashing around so fast, you think there's no way you can hit even a target as, as, as large as this eye, the speed with it's moving. But it's as if some unseen hand guides it, and it glows brilliantly and bright, and just sort of curves 
directly into this thing's eyeball and is like buried all the way. It goes all the way in. Like that. You can't see the end of the spear. It's gone all the way into the eyeball. Oh. Um, man, the octopus is so mad about that. Uh, but so badly hurt. Um, it's blinded, which uh, means it automatically fails any ability check that requires sight. Uh, and attack rolls against it have advantage. So from this point, and its and its attack rolls have disadvantage. Yes. Oh my god! Yes. We all should be doing blinding things in D and D. That's super <laughs> powerful. <laughs> Who knew? Okay, next up is red. Ooh, okay, that's the top of the order. Time for my final mystery spell. Oh yes. yes. Okay, better be Not a good a one. Too soon. Right, look at this blinded giant octopus and I cast Firebolt. Whoa. That's right. Yeah. Love you it. hurl a moat of fire at an object within range. Make a range spell attack against mm -hmm. the target. Oomph. With advantage. Um, uh, with advantage. On a hit, the target takes 1d10 fire damage. Uh, anything at higher levels? No. So 1d10 fire damage. It's not to do with spell slots. What you get is 2d10. Two D ten. Yeah. Oh, well, I haven't rolled it yet, but yeah. You, know. you yeah. We don't know if it hits. That's okay. Brilliant. All right. So, so with advantage. With advantage. That's a twenty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a natural. Nice. 20. Natural. Okay. Um. So I'm going to give you. Did you say two D ten? Yep. Two D ten. That's a three, and a five. It's for eight points of fire damage. Eight points of fire damage. Cool. Uh, where exactly into the octopus are you sending this? Right into the eyeballs. Yeah, like into the hole. Into the, into the wound. Yeah. <laughs> into the hole. Yeah. yeah. Fill that with fire. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tiddles. Yes. Uh, as this fireball smashes into the uh, increasingly pulverized head of this mm. octopus, you feel its grip weaken and mm. you are falling into the water. Again? Yeah. I hate water. I'm a big cat. <laughs> you can land an act or you can do what you like, but you know, that's where your your turn begins with its grip loosening. Right. Um Can I clamber into the Am I close enough to clamber into the boat? Yeah, you've got movement enough to make it to the boat. Yeah. I sure. think rather than climbing back onto the shore, I'm gonna climb on to the boat. Yep. Sail away by yourself. <laughs> yeah, just like <laughs> bye. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> And then I was going to use insightful fighting to look for a weak point, but to be honest, like I think the weak point has been made clear by the big spear that went into it and then the fire. But I suppose it would allow me to use a, a sneak attack against the target. Yeah. Mm. Yep. I assume there's a, you know, some sort of like harpoon or spear for fishing in the boat. You know, if you're preparing the boat yeah. for a long journey, yeah, you need to, need to be able to get food along the way. They'll, they'll have they'll have brought something like that from, so yeah, like from a, the ship. Yeah. Let me grab that and absolutely launch it as a sneak attack. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Great. Um, there was another Aracocra uh, working on the boat, but um, yeah, he's, his his cowardice has, has taken hold. He, right. Unlike the captain, he's not so loyal. Beatsy has done a runner. Ah, Beatsy. Um, as you head towards the boat, you can see Beatsy sort of disappearing up into the cave mouth. Disappearing up into the cave mouth. Yeah. But at least he's yeah. going to meet his friend Wingo or whatever his name yeah. was. I think it was Wingo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so perceptive, I'm pretty sure it was Wingo. It was, it was, it was, it was Lieutenant Wingo. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, right, so this is a sneak attack. So first roll me to see if it hits. Uh, okay, so is that, uh, is that a dex? That would be, um, attack? yep, it would be a ranged attack. attack with the harpoon. So yeah, yeah add your dex modifier. Mm, this is six overall. Six overall? But it's a, mm. you got advantage on this. Oh yeah, I do have advantage. Yeah. You're right. That's, yeah, uh, yeah, that's a 17, like it. isn't it now? Brilliant. Yeah, you send this harpoon straight into this giant octopus and it does not expect it. Um, <laughs> it's surprised by this. Possibly because it can't see. Yeah. Possibly because you are a sort of fairly advanced stage tabaxi. Yeah. You wouldn't have thought you'd have like a throwing arm like this. Mm. Um, but you, well, it's those old fishing instincts. Yeah. You? And you absolutely send it like with you did. With a sinewy arm. With a sinewy arm, like you did with your dad on the boat mm. all, all those years ago. Straight into the giant octopus for how much damage? 4d6. 4d6. Yeah. 4d6 plus what the harpoon does, which we'll say 1d8. This doesn't feel like as fancy a okay. harpoon as the spear that we had before. 
Hmm. So I've got a seven and a three is 10, 11, 12, and 15 overall. 15 overall? Yep. Cool. This, this one passes all the way through the octopus and comes out the other side. <laughs> um, the octopus sort of squirms around, reels. The water is boiling. The octopus is very, very, very nearly dead. Does it look like it might flee? It looks like, it looks like if it knew where the exit was, it would certainly try to flee. Right. I think it's probably like driven beyond that kind of rational thought at this point. Sorry, um, octopus. It's the captain's turn next. Kill stealing, Captain Kill Steal. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oh no, he rolled a two. Uh, he stands up in the shallows and shouts, have at thee, and falls over again, face down. <laughs> Manbird, you're up. <coughs> Why don't we do our final mystery spell? Yeah. 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 Here we go, here we go. What have we got, what have we got? I'm good. We've got... Cure wounds. <laughs> I've got light. You, <laughs> you, want, you touch one object that is no larger than 10 feet in any dimension. Until the spell ends, the object sheds bright light in a 20 foot radius and dim light for an additional 20 feet. <laughs> <laughs> the light may be colored as you like. <laughs> <laughs> Complete Do the captain. Do the captain. <laughs> <laughs> Completely covering the object with something opaque blocks the light. Uh, <laughs> you know, you don't you know how light works. <laughs> I love, love, love the lengthy D and D descriptions for the boring spells. It's like, the of spell, course, you've got to fill this word count yeah. somehow. <laughs> of course, if anything opaque were placed over it, it's no longer visible. Uh, the spell ends if you cast it again or dismiss it as an action. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna make something be lit up. You'll make something glow. Um, what will you choose? Should I, should I make the captain glow, freak him out? Yeah, he's not technically an object, but I think it would be that's, funny. Oh, that's it's fine. You could choose his hat or something. Yeah, <laughs> I'll choose the captain's hat. What colour would you like it to glow? Uh, that's completely up to you. <laughs> a neon pink, please. Yes. Wow, OK, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Which nice. is probably not a, co a colour that occurs in nature in the world of D&D. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe so it'll be, like, it'll be mind blowing. It'll be like seeing a new colour. No one's, yeah. yeah, yeah. no one's ever seen this colour before. Mm. Um, it is probably sent by your deity. Yeah. For right. this colour could only exist in some <laughs> kind of heaven. Whoa. <laughs> um, yeah, the hat, the captain's hat glows with a, a, it glows neon and the captain uh, loses his mind. <laughs> his mind shatters. <laughs> he dies. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely just a series of very poor roles. <laughs> yeah. um, Wait, is he really dead? <laughs> um, yeah, yes, his, yes, his mind is, his mind is destroyed wow. by the colour. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know, I'll give you the choice. Do you want it to be unconscious or dead? Um, I think probably dead. Because <laughs> he knows about your yeah. past and I don't want you guys to end up dead, so yeah. Sure. Sure. His mind folds in on itself until <laughs> it's the size of a, of a pinprick and then is utterly extinguished. Uh, next is <laughs> Red. You're up again, Red. Who used the most lethal spell <laughs> <laughs> white. in all of D&D? <laughs> As you said, it does the colour doesn't occur in If you. only someone had put something opaque over it. <laughs> <laughs> No way to save him otherwise. <laughs> well. Okay, the um, octopus is in a bad way. Yeah, really bad. Okay. Really, and it really doesn't bad. look like it, it's in a state where it will surrender or. We did it flee. a favour by blinding it, otherwise or it's negotiate. Mine might have Yeah, it negotiate or otherwise. Okay, all right. Well, sorry about it. Sadly We're going to have to use. What didn't I use before? Burning hands. I'm going to try burning hands. Yeah, cool. Okay. Um, so I extend my hands like so and cast a 15 foot cone of flame. And let's see you make a dex saving throw, big blinded octopus. It is not possible for the octopus to survive this. Ah. Um, so you kill it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you hold out your right. hands. Cone uh, of flame, 15 yeah. feet away. So like that, it's got kind of spreads out in the octopus. It kind of thrashes with its tentacles to try and stop it. Yeah. But Blast to, its clean, its skin yeah. clean off its yeah, I don't know what is exactly underneath the skin of an octopus because it's not bone, is it? But no. you can't see either because the, there's so much fire. Mm. But then there's nothing. 
uh, just a sort of steaming surface of the sea. Jelly, yeah. Just a sort of jelly. Mm. Yeah. Um, well done. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of initiative order. Hooray! Great job. And it smells delicious. <laughs> Again. Yeah. Yummy. All of our fights end with delicious Delicious smell. seafood smell. <laughs> okay. Shall we touch this number sign then? Let's do it. Sure. You gather around. I throw something opaque over the captain. <laughs> Just yeah, case. sure, to, to protect your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. No yeah. one look. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Scrap of fabric over the captain. Yeah. His cape. Neon pink. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Who wants to go first? You can all go at the same time. Let's go oh, together. Okay. Yeah. All right. what, what if the memories get swapped around into the wrong things? Oh, I guess you'd never well, I guess know. We'll do if a they sequel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. You. Let's not stand on ceremony. You will, you will uh, gather around the NEM sign and you touch it. And in a dizzying rush, mm. your memories flood back. Many of them, the more recent ones certainly, are deeply, deeply painful. A uh, page of a book, for such is your name. Yeah, I can reveal that. You can reveal everything now. <gasps> oh. A tabaxi rogue yeah. from a humble fishing family you rose to a, a prominent position of judge in the in the duke's court, mm. but gradually the duke's increasingly erratic behaviour weighed on you. Somehow you fell in with a bunch of rebels and reprobates. At first, it was just sort of encouraging spe speeches on the on the down low, but. Lacking anyone more intelligent, you became their de facto leader and... Wait, let me just check. Oh yeah, I am intelligent. Mm. I've got 17 in intelligence. Turns out. Yeah. You're very... Never used it during this, as you might have noticed. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, you, you ha in fact have a wickedly sharp mind. Mm. Um, and you put together the, uh, yeah, the, the attempted coup um, mm. with the help of... Sean. That's me. Oh, the fire monk. My name. That's your name. Yeah, and I am a monk. You are a monk. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, from the from the uh, fire wielding school, the greatest champions of which have long since been inducted into the Duke's personal guard. A great honor, uh, one that you two were persuaded to betray mm. when that night you uh, you on on board the Duke's yacht you led everyone to a part of the ship so that the, the rabble could storm up the, the other side. Yeah. Something went wrong, someone was tipped off perhaps, and uh, you were all arrested, and the, the Duke yet lives. And so you were, your, your coup failed, and you were hastily bundled yeah. off to Kir Sabal to uh, await trial. Uh, your memories flood back as well. Crust, the Aracocran Paladin. Um, you uh, are from um, you're from an, an impoverished family. There's an awful lot of uh, inequality going around in the Duke's kingdom, what with his financially ruinous crusades, um, sort of punishing the, the economy of the region. That's, that politics is never something you've given much mind to, though. Your, your main priority has always been um, to like, live a life distinct and, and separate from, from that of your, your family. Your brothers are sort of fairly notorious criminals and you always found that somewhat distasteful and maybe that's what att attracted you to the uh, to the posting of, of guard aboard the Duke's ships. You thought maybe you know a career in the in the Duke's Navy would beckon. Little did you know that in fact without like privilege and connections it's impossible to rise very highly in the Duke's Navy and so you've been a, a, a guard and an honest one um, on the on on the prison ships for many, many years. Your career has, has sadly stalled. Until now, when I suppose your career is completely kaput in favor of something cooler and more exciting. Friendship. Yeah. <laughs> the greatest ship of them all. Who needs a career but when you, you have friends? you could take friends? a captain's coat and hat if you want. <laughs> you I'm not going to take cool it. cool pink hat. Yeah. <laughs> for another <laughs> minute. <laughs> I think I switch off. You could take the captain's clothes. <laughs> My voyage left me physically changed. <laughs> <laughs> but here are the prisoners. Let's kill them now. 
Is that the uh, writing in the in the code, the smugglers stuff? That must have been thieves' cant. Right? Yes. And yes. That, you, you could understand it because your family were thieves. Oh, well remembered. Mm. Very I good. liked that. It was a very nice touch. Yeah. Um, okay, so that essentially uh, ties up our adventure. You got your memories back. Well done. And I suppose as the camera pans out, what we see is uh, the modified ship. You all, between you now, with all your memories, have more than enough knowledge between you to sort of modify this for a long sea voyage. Strike out for wherever. Parts unknown. Parts oh. unknown, maybe, to sort of start to a new the life. destroy Duke. Yeah, maybe, mm. back to, maybe back to the kingdom for another, you know, you're going to Napoleon out of Elba it. Just come back. <laughs> Just, yeah, guess what? I've come back. <laughs> yeah. I've come back on my problem again. Yeah, um, yeah. how exciting. But that's a story for another day. Well done, everyone. Well done, you. Well done, you. That was great. Great amnesia overcoming. Mm. Woo. Thanks so much. And thank you for watching this uh, very special one off Ox Venture. If you have enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Please. Come on. Come on. <laughs> have you done it? Please. Do it. Please. Thank you. Thanks for doing it. Yeah. Unless you haven't, in which case just feel guilted by my heartfelt thanks that you did it. <laughs> if you did enjoy this and you want to watch more, then why not check out another recent Ox Venture one-off we did, which is Dungeons and Dragons, but all of the characters are sweet little kobolds. Well, they're not really sweet. They're vicious and reptilian. But they uh, are little. But they are little. Mm. So I, you know. And I got, kobolds. And kobolds. <laughs> so I got that right. Uh, yeah, it's a unbelievably fun and weird session with an awful lot of kobold roleplay. So if that sounds like something you might be into, check it out. And thank you very much. Sullivan, where can people find your excellent work? Ah, oh, thank you. Yes, well, you can go to No Rolls Barn and see me play silly board games or Chaotic Neutral to play more roleplaying games like this. It's very silly, very fun. Brilliant. We will see you next time for more Rocks Venture. Bye. 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 -bye. Right, let's get into it. Good luck, have fun, everyone. Total party. Total party. <laughs> You've died. <laughs> <laughs> you had a total party, total party. Yeah. Okay. Trick shot. <laughs> you want to lose your memory? Why? I've seen some bad things. <laughs> Liliana is our mortal enemy. If She's tried to kill us a hundred times. I need your help. <laughs> <laughs>